Yo, what up, your boy Shane Daddy? Coming back to another My Heroes video, and we got our weekly update. That time of the that time of the week again. Uh, let's go check out our our DPS on the regular training dummy. We'll actually do the uh, the other the training room dummy, I guess you could say. We'll try that too as well and see where we stack up. Oh, not a bad little start. I can't remember. I think we were at like the 1.7 mil mark, right? 1.75 or 1.7, something like that. Um, I did get a, a small upgrade this week. It shouldn't be too much, though. Like, we did switch out one gem, and we switched out... Uh, I, I got one more level 8 rune, which I'll show later on in the video. But um, let's see. Let's give it, like, a minute. We'll see what we can get here, and then we'll try out the other dummy. Um, like I said, there shouldn't be that much of a difference. I mean, as you can see, yeah, we're getting right back to that point. I think we'll probably end up getting a little bit more by the minute mark. Uh, usually the way like my damage works is that it like accumulates a little bit more and more as the time goes on. Like I could keep going and maybe even get to 2 billion damage just because um, the damage just seems to get better over time with me. Ah, I missed, uh, that kind of stinks. As you guys can see, it's basically, I mean, I think I was basically more around like 1.6 to 1.7 last week. Now we're like more on the, the other side of that. So right here, let's just see what it ends up being after this. See, not that much, so... Was it 107 here? Watch. If I do one more, there's always like that one weird thing where you end up getting a lot. Um, I don't even know why. Yeah, no. See, it's 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 around 1.7. So it's not that much different than last week. That makes sense. Um, let's go out and let's check uh, the training room. Yeah, let's see how we could do in this. Um, so we'll do 60 seconds. Boss, stationary. Uh, water is fine. We're gonna, um, so someone in the comments had said try to do it on one strength. Um, I guess we could try that. I mean, let's see what happens. You're gonna do a ton of damage though, so it should be a lot more because there's no defense to block it. But yeah, look at that. We're already up to like 5 billion. But as you guys can see, my, my damage against water bosses is definitely my, my biggest strength for sure. Um, when I, when I do say, uh, when we're in Star Vale and it's hard mode, I feel like I don't do that much damage to the... When you go up against the towers, you have to verse like the individual people that aren't bosses. But there, my damage isn't that great. Or it takes a little bit because to do damage there. Seemingly, even if I'm going up against the person that's not as geared, it seems like I, can, I just don't do as much. But yeah, as you guys can see, like this is pretty... Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, where are we at? Six, like, six billion, yeah. So without the defense, there's definitely a huge... Like, I think last week, in last week's video, I did it with the full defense up, like, the max level. And, uh, yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. But, uh, you know, I don't know where my DPS stands in terms... Of, I mean, I've heard some different things now. So there, there's another witch, and as you guys can see, around 6.25... What is that, billion, right? Because you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. So not bad, not bad at all. So let's, let's get back out of there. Hey guys, just wanted to go over how the uh, Torchbearer outfit progress is going. Uh, we're at 98 as I'm recording this video, which is pretty awesome. We started at 82 last video, so we've made some pretty good progress. We got one up about 16. We're almost at 100, so we're almost one eighth uh, of the way there. Uh, I gotta say thank you guys. That being said, um, if you are a new player or an existing player making a new account or like a second, third account, and you don't mind clicking the link that there'll be in the description of the video, I appreciate it. Um, for those of you that do click on the link and actually starting, if you get to hero rank D++, it gives me an extra 10. So, uh, that'll help too. Um, I don't know the exact, like, you could read through the exact thing. If you want to find this, because someone was asking me last week, if you want to find how I got to this partner recruitment, it's under your friends list. You go to your partner recruitment right here right at the bottom, and that's how you get in there. So, with that being said, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so let's take a look at some of the different things that I, I upgraded this week. And I guess I'll show also certain things that didn't get upgraded. Um, first thing I should show is this split blaze cloak. Now, I believe last week I had mentioned this and then I had it. Last week it was the opposite. I was still using this one. This is the old one. Um, this week, it's the same stats as, la as last week. The difference is that my runes, I believe, were all red and blue. I was able to switch those up with the Stone of Ancients. I think you need like 250 of the wood version. And uh, I finally hit that uh, last week or like during this week, I guess you could say like this past week. And I did get that. So I'll, I, I switched that in because as you guys can see, we have like, you know, similar resistance stat here. Um, I do need water anyway more. So it kind of helps that water. The wood attack is similar, but, uh, you know, more you know it's one more than my old one which is you know obviously that kind of like washes each other out really the big is that i get crit mod um and it, it kind of takes over for the defense stat 
wish I had. I couldn't get rid of this because I believe I can't remember exact. So if we, you know what? If we go back, right, we can look at reforging. So my wood attack was the one that I had to get to. And this one, it was the crit mod. Um, and there really isn't other another stat that would help me because it's it's really only defense HP. So I'm using basically your your wood resistance here. Um, so you came in. Well, I guess it's saying like other stats besides the ones I have already. It's really only would be like fire or wood resistance because uh, we, we have the crit mod and we don't eat HP regen, HP and defense aren't really going to help us. So in my opinion, this one is better just almost in every way. So I'm happy to get that one in there. Um, let's put this back into storage because maybe we can use that for like a water spec or something down the line. I can switch up the uh, I can switch these uh, slots up. Um, that being said, let's go to my talents real quick. So almost everything is leveled up fully except for my water attack plus and my fire attack plus. Um, I'm sure like maybe not by the next uh, weekly update, but the one after I should be fully leveled out. That'll be a cool thumbnail to show off. Or I don't know. I might I might not even make it a thumbnail, but that's a cool milestone to hit to be able to say, oh, I, I maxed out all my talents. Um, but uh, let's see. Let's go to the next thing here. Um, skills we don't really need to touch upon. I, nothing's really nothing crazy. I've been just accumulating skill books, is is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, we can go to pets. So the first thing and I think we should take a look at is the snow griffin. I finally got my sixth snow griffin that I needed to make it five stars to ascend it from four to five stars. Um, now everything that I get can basically be merged into mythic pets. Now it's still not like, it's not like the process, like I can make mythic pets left and right. It's still going to take a while, but the fact that I can literally merge everything uh, up until the point where I get into a mythic pet is pretty awesome. So um, I actually did get my first three star mythic pet, which I can't really use because it just doesn't help me in terms of... Um, so basically it's i mean you know what it's not terrible because it's good maybe for like as a defensive but the problem is it says you get an extra fire attack like 250 fire attack that'd be good if i was like a fire mage or something but for for what i am it doesn't really help but yeah my first three star um uh, mythic card and i don't even use it so but i am getting close to some of the other stuff like for the ones i think i need one more mini uppercut and two more andro the problem with these is that like these are the ones that you'd have to like pay for like with diamonds and i just um, I don't even think they're in the shop right now, but, uh, we'll, we'll mess around. I could always, uh, the problem is the CJ one actually does a lot. And the evil God pet has a pretty good, uh, a pretty good thing here too. I'm sure I could find a different pet that could probably be just as useful, but for the time being, I'm just going to use uh, evil God. I mean, if I had to use like Andrus or something, we'd figure it out. But that being said, that's, that's good enough for the pets. Soul cards. I'm going to say, man, nothing really changed in the last... I'm trying to mess around with stuff. I got to like look through and see if all the new cards, if we scroll all the way down, um, I got to get rid of, I mean, I'm, I'm almost at the max here, uh, which uh, that's actually an issue. I got to take a look and see the two star or two cost and three cost ones, which ones I, I like, I've fully upgraded max because I think I, I mentioned to you guys, it's like a side project. I'm basically trying to max at least one of each card out. So I get every single avatar. So if we go to like, uh, if we go to our goal here, to our soul cards i want to be able to have almost every single one i know there might be some that are going to be really tough like the nine cost ones but pretty much everything from like two cost to seven cost i think i could probably get as uh, time goes on but realistically nothing else with the soul cards um if we go to our runes so we did i was able to get one more uh level eight defense so now it gets us to a 12 11 at the max for our uh basically for our you know for our rune energy total rune energy for wood stuff so we were i think at 1201 last week so now we you know we basically last week we were, we were able to get the attack plus 200 uh but yeah so at least you know we're making progress here it's just slow but steady progress next week i probably won't be able to i'm gonna go for all defense runes again i probably won't be able to get um because i don't have any i don't even have any level sevens of the defense right because level six we have one so yeah, next week I might not really make any progress in terms of runes, but that's that was it for runes. Uh, gems, let's take a look. I did, uh, I believe I ascended this one fully to five star and I got it to level 15. That's what I've been trying to do with my legendary uh, gems. I have one more in the works right now that I started. I, I don't know what the best, I always go for wood attack here as my first rare stat, but the second rare stat, I don't know what the best thing would be. Um, I know I've, I, on some of mine, I have water suppression. I think I have counter boost on, on one of them, which I don't even know if that really helps in my case. Probably not. 
It is, or maybe it does, but I feel like damage boost just in general has to be a decent stat to have there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think on that. Um, Mythic one, I still need to get one more. Oh, wait, nope, not that one. I still need to get one more Andro, which I'm very close to on the condenses. I think I need, I have two more until I automatically get a uh, Andro one. Uh, but that's, that's really it for gems. Um, I do have some more here that I could possibly use. Because this, this one right here is another wood attack damage boost one. So technically, next time I get another legendary, I think I, I actually, I might need six, right? Yeah, I need six, never mind. So I would, I would need two more. Um, going, looking more than that, Awakening hasn't changed. Astrolab is still the same. Um, if we want to go to the crystal ball, let me take a look at, uh, or astral gear so this week we didn't really upgrade unfortunately we didn't upgrade from what we had before um basically i didn't get one wood piece all week so you gotta think about it right you can buy the two things at the at, in the astral shop there's like you can get two ninja packs of two all four of those were wood pieces and then from all four you know you have your two normals and your two hard modes for star veil and I didn't get a green piece in either of those. So that's kind of ridiculous. I feel like you should have a higher chance to get your color astral gear, like piece based on like maybe what the most uh, energy you have. So say if you have, if you have more wood energy than the other ones, right? I feel like the game should give you more wood pieces. I think that's kind of stupid that I'm getting all these other pieces that I don't really necessarily need. Now I do kind of look to see like this one, it's a water piece, but it has uh, mythic wood attack stat. So I kept it. I, mean, I could probably switch that on to something at some point. That's what a lot of these pieces are for. I'm kind of like holding on to them. I mean, I would say when I'm going to be my support ninja class at some point for my guild, I want to also have like water kind of pieces. So I, that's why like I kept like this is a good piece here to keep. I thought that's actually like a sick uh, earrings piece. I think I have some of these other ones that are all right. But um, that being said, didn't get anything new. Kind of un kind of unfortunate. I did start to level up this one because I figured, you know what? I've been, I've, we've been doing this for months now. I haven't gotten a better piece than this. It's got the EP. The only bad thing about it, it's only got one secondary stat, uh, which kind of stinks, but whatever. I'm just going to level it up to five. I know it kind of sucks, but I, it would suck if I got like an actual, like the same piece with two secondary stats like next week. Cause I'd be like, really? I waited all this time and finally I got one now, but um, yeah, I'm going to start leveling this up because I want to get a piece so I can get to 1050. That's like the minimum. That's like the, oh, for all the things that you need for Star Vale and Sakura's Island, like 1050 is the highest one. I think Star Vale hard mode, the requirement, not the requirement, but like where you, you're not losing damage. You're, you're not in like the red writing stuff where you're technically, you're not doing hundred percent damage that you would normally do is 1050. So once I level this thing up, I will, that'll be good. I'll be able to get there. That being said, guys, I think that's really, I mean, Soul Orb and Soul Link haven't changed. Um, I'm going to be doing Apex Tournament today. I think the Apex Monthly Tournament is also later. You guys, I, I might be releasing this on Monday, so if you see this, it's too late. But um, yeah, just, uh, I, I, need, I need to make sure I don't miss that because it's basically free diamonds. If I can get, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into that. I think I'm like, I think I'll qualify for it. I've been Apex Tournament every week, so I think I'll probably qualify. The problem is you can only get to it, so if we go to Apex Tournament, right? We go to Apex Tournament by week. Uh, it's Arena, right? If we go to Arena, uh, Arena, Apex Tournament. So it's nine, it's 1900 to 20, which I think for me, because that's Central Time, so realistically for me, it'd be 20 to 21 because I'm Eastern Time, so I'm one hour ahead. Um, which, what is that? 20 would be nine o'clock. I'm going to check at eight o'clock my time to see just in case. And then I'll check at nine. If, and then, uh, I don't want to miss this. Basically don't miss your monthly apex tournament. I know I'm kind of telling you, and you're not going to see it until the next week, but, um, yeah, just, uh, try not to miss that. It's free diamonds. If you do get into it, some of you guys might not even uh, be eligible for it, but it is what it is. Um, oh, look, someone messaged me. Let's see. Hello. Live on video. There you go. Um, you are in my IP vid. And there we go. Um, but let's see. Uh, is there anything really else that I want to talk about? I mean, in terms of stuff, that's really it for upgrades. Um, I guess, you know, we could go over like 
rest of the week stuff. So let's let's take a look. Uh, oh, backpack is full. We can't even do that right now. Let's just do arena then. Let's do an apex tournament try, right? While we talk here. So basically, um, I have about two and a half weeks more of the brutal part of my job where I'm working like crazy extra hours and stuff, and it's probably going to be really bad. So if if there is a lack of videos for the next two weeks or so, just know that it's I, it's work related. It's not like I'm just like I stopped playing the game. I'm still playing the game at a pretty high rate. I'm still doing all my dailies every day. At least I'm trying to. Um, but yeah, I, I still enjoy the game a lot, guys. So it's not it wouldn't be anything on that regard. But yeah, like I said, two and a half more weeks. September 15th is the last day when my job is like really that crazy. I still am technically in tax season, but it's like I don't I, all the work is basically done for my job. So it's more that like I just have to kind of, you know, it's I'd be ready for anything that might. There's certain things that you have to get done that in that time, but it's it's not like extra hours worthy is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, it's I just got to get through those two weeks and then we're back to kind of like I could kind of just enjoy my time more and just I, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, yeah, the, I would say that like the last like two weeks anyway, the game really hasn't shown any like new kind of content. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's why like there hasn't really been anything that I could even like talk about because even if like I know the the heaven weapons came out, but I didn't I didn't really need the heaven weapons because I have the future weapons, and I I just don't have enough limited uh, weapon tokens to even get that like limited event tokens. But um. I do. I will talk about. So this is something I've heard, just the kind of in like the rumblings in my guild chat and stuff. Apparently, there's a new witch coming out. I don't know when, because obviously people know what's going to come out because you have the other game, right? You have the game, the, the SEA version of this game. So like you kind of know like what's in that game and what's gonna. You just don't know like with the exact dates. Um, there is a wood witch that is better than Andro apparently for damage and stuff. I don't know the name of the witch. Someone in the comments can kind of say it or uh, mention it but oh yeah that wasn't that was like a terrible that uh, wasn't terrible outing against so you guys have a good rest of your week i hope you enjoy the videos that i post for the rest of the week and uh i'll see you in the next weekly uh, update vid peace boys and girls your boy shank daddy here thank you for watching this video if you like what you saw drop a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button and i will see you boys and girls in the next video